Hi, welcome to the show today. I'm Anisha Pindoria and I'm a senior program manager in the community team in Azure DevOps. And I'm joined today uh, with Lauren. Lauren, do you want to do a quick intro? Yeah, sure. I'm Lauren Bros. I'm one of the program managers on the Azure Boards part of Azure DevOps. Cool. And I'm excited to talk about Sprint 142. Great, great. Well, it's lovely to have you in the, in the studio. Um, so uh, for this uh, video, we'll be covering some of the uh, features released in Sprint 142. Um, some of the things that we'll be highlighting are the YAML improvements, um, the new navigation experience. Uh, we'll also be covering Azure Boards that you mentioned, mm -hmm. um, and then the most requested feature that we've now released in Sprint 152 is um, the dark theme. So yeah, Woo, yeah. yeah, yeah, everyone's excited about that. <laughs> so let's crack on then. Um, so. Uh, there have been several improvements to YAML in the Sprint, um, like you are now able to specify branches to build for pull requests in YAML. Uh, we've also increased the default retention for all YAML builds to 30 days, whereas before it was only 10 days. And we've also relaxed the restriction to allow inline templates as well. Um, so those are all pretty cool stuff. Um, Another thing that uh, we've um, announced and released in Sprint 142 is um, that we've turned on the new navigation for everyone. Mm -hmm. This is a huge milestone for us to begin rolling out a new product design. Um, so I know some of you have already been using it, so that's great. And if you've already got to switch on, that's, that's fantastic. Um, but if you're not quite ready to switch, um, you can toggle back to the old navigation as well. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, so if you um, go to your account and then click on avatar, you'll be able to click on the preview features, which will open the preview pane. And from there, you'll be able to toggle the new navigation on and off from there as well. Um, and I believe there's some dialog box that comes up as well, like right or wrong. Right. Uh, when you turn off the new navigation, you'll get prompted to send us feedback. So yeah. if you don't like something about it and you turn it off, definitely let us know so that we can improve it before that January 16th date yep. when the new nav is forced for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Um, and there's a couple of improvements in, in, in the boards experience now as well. Yes, uh, there's a lot on the work items specifically around attachments. Uh, want me to show you? Yeah, yeah. Let's go through it. All right. Um, so let me just close this dialog here uh, and go over to the work items hub. Um, so when you go to your work item now, uh, one of the first things that we have is a new uh, HTML editor. So when cool. you go to edit HTML, uh, this is a preview feature. Uh, you can use the same experience that you would see in like the Outlook web app. Yeah. Uh, we've added support for highlighting, emojis, and code syntax. So Cool. Super cool. Uh, definitely yeah. turn it on like Anisha showed you and send us your feedback. Um, another thing I'm really excited about is we've improved a lot around attachments. Uh, so when you go to your attachments experience, you'll see this new kind of grid icon. And when you click it, you'll actually get an wow. inline preview of attachments for various file types like GIFs, videos, and images. Um, and when you open these attachments, you'll get a nice preview experience and actually be able to go through all the things attached to the work guide and rather than opening them. Yeah, and this is so handy, isn't it? It really is. Yes, and if I had a video here, I could play the video <laughs> right there and not have to download it and yeah. mess with all that stuff. Great, so great. Really exciting. Awesome. Well, that's pretty pretty cool stuff in, in, in boards. Um, the other thing that we wanted to kind of talk about was the the new dark theme that um, oh, yeah. has been, you know, kind of our most requested feature. And we've had so many people kind of leave comments on the DevOps blog as well, saying, when are we going to get it? So everyone, you'll be pleased to know that it's um, rolling out in this sprint. Um, and so you'll begin seeing that soon as well. And I'll show you how to uh, switch that on right now for you as well. So if you go back into your... Um, uh, menu, uh, you'll actually see this theme um, uh, menu bar here, and if you uh, go to it, you'll be able to toggle from the light theme uh, to your dark theme as well. Uh, this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people prefer using the dark theme. Um, how do you feel about it, Lauren? <laughs> oh, I love the dark theme. I use dark theme for like almost all the apps that support cool. it, so I'm really excited. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Like even the tags themselves have like a cool exactly, new color yeah. that looks. I think better. It's nice. It's nice. It definitely yeah. is. <laughs> so um, 
So we've we, we've covered some of the some of the features uh, that have been released in Sprint 142. There are so many more that we haven't even touched upon. So please go ahead and check out the release notes, which um, you'll see the link under the video as well. Um, and if you want to dig into any of the topics that we covered today, uh, feel free to do that. And uh, please leave uh, leave us uh, your comments and um, give us your feedback on some of the features we talked about today as well. So thanks again, Lauren, for being on the show. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and thanks everyone for watching as well, and we'll see you in the next sprint. Thank you. Take care. Bye.